Yahweh. I thank our temple headquarters with a threat of extortion and blackmail. He said that the state has been making him offers and they believe that he has a lot of things locked up in his head. They want bigger fish and feel that he can give them bigger fish. He said that he would remain loyal for the moment and not have anything to say. He said Reuben was given at a higher price and he picked an attorney at a cheaper price. He said the state feels that he has enough in his head where he could buy his life and said that he has a lot of things locked up in his head. He said that if he goes into court and is given a public defender, then that means the temple of love does not care. The temple would then prove that they are no longer the rock and have disassociated themselves from him. He further said that if his rock turns into a sponge, then he too would become a sponge. He said Yahweh is a man of war and that he wants to see war. He said that if Yahweh is faithful, then he will be faithful. He said his life is at stake and they want to kill him. He said that Yahweh ben Yahweh went on, tel went on television and showed himself to be righteous, upright, and honorable, and said that he would reflect that also. But if he sees that change, then he will have to change too. Robert Rosier's effort to extort and blackmail us to furnish him another attorney to bow to his will or else he will make up fictitious charges against us is criminal in the sight of God Yahweh and in the sight of all moral men of the earth and has been reported to the state attorney's office this day, June 10, 1987. It is criminal to agree to tell lies on members of the nation of Israel in an effort to save his own life. In the sight of the whole world, this is treason of the worst form and traitorous in the highest form. Robert Rozier has sought to terrorize our nation into doing his will. The world is a witness to my moral teaching, which have produced a righteous people all over America. The disciples of Yahweh are the best citizens in America and have produced a model of excellence, free from crime, drugs, prostitution, teen pregnancy, and social diseases such as AIDS, syphilis, and gonorrhea. We are an asset, a big asset to America by being industrious and self-sufficient. We have demonstrated for eight years that we love all moral men of the earth regardless of their race, creed, color, or beliefs. Robert Rozier has now proven that he is among the many black devils that have come among us pretending to believe in Yahweh, the God of Israel, the God of the Bible, the God of the righteous, and then sought to destroy the work of Yahweh and his moral teachings, which is the solution to all of the world's problems. There is no connection whatsoever between the alleged crimes committed by Robert Rozier and the Temple of Love or myself. We do not advocate murder. We do not advocate violence. And we know nothing of his activities at Opalaka or anywhere else. And now to the excommunication ceremony. I will now pronounce the excommunication of Robert Rozier, formerly known as Neri Israel. Yahweh said, he will make me a fenced brazen wall, and many shall fight me, but they shall not prevail against me. For Yahweh is with me to save me and to deliver me. And Yahweh will deliver me out of the hand of the wicked, and Yahweh will redeem me out of the hand of the terrible. Jeremiah chapter 15, verses 20, 21. Yahweh says that he will contend with him that contended with me. And Yahweh will uh, feed them that oppress me with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that Yahweh is our Savior and our Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Isaiah chapter 49, 25, 26. They which have not defiled their garments shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. 
He that overcometh sin, the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. Revelations 3, 4, and 5. They that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world. Revelations chapter 17, verse 8. This man, Robert Rozier, has sinned a great sin by attempting blackmail and extortion against the nation of Yahweh to bow to his will for an attorney of his choice or to threaten that he will say damaging things against the son of Yahweh and the disciples of Yahweh. This is a criminal act within itself. Yahweh said, Whosoever hath sinned against me, him will I blot out of my book. Exodus 32 verses 33 and I saw the dead small and great stand before God Yahweh and the books were opened and another book was opened which is the book of life and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works Revelations chapter 20 verse 12 and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire Revelations chapter 20 verse 15 let him be blotted out of the book of the living and not be written with the righteous. Psalm 69, verse 28. Let his posterity be cut off, and in the generation following, let their name be blotted out. Psalms 109, verse 13. I hereby excommunicate Robert Rozier, also known as Nehemiah Israel, and take the Lamb's book of life in the sight of the world and blot out Robert Ernest Rozier, Jr., also known as Neariah Rehoboam Israel, out of the Book of the Living. So be it. I thank you, the members of the press, for coming out to get the truth today. Thank you.